Good morning everyone and welcome to a new vlog. Sorry if you can hear the dulcet tones of dad having his cereal right here. Um, but today we're starting another 5 day challenge. So I feel rude covering you up, but you're not really doing anything. What? Basically, I was, you know me, always investigating food and just find it really fascinating. Would love to do like a BBC documentary on some sort of food, like Michael Mosley. Um, are you gonna keep going back like there? And then I came across nutrition gov guidelines of a meal plan, which we all know I find intriguing because everyone is so different, whether that be a different size, different, you know, everything. So how can they make a food plan for one person? But actually they do say that on the food plan, they say this this is recommended, but it might not work for you sort of thing. So we love a little cheeky disclaimer. And um, I will say before this starts, a few of the meals I've had to switch around. I'm having the same meals, but the meat or something is out of date. Well, it's gonna go out of date, so I've had to just zhuzh that around. I'm intrigued how I'm gonna feel, because this is apparently the exact nutritional guideline that you need. So it's got the amount of sugar, it's not, it's like the perfect amount of sugar, perfect amount of protein, carbs, all that jazz. So I'm very intrigued because I will put my hands up. I definitely don't have that. I have way probably over the sugar. Actually, I don't know, I might not. We don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna get started making brekkie. Now for this one, it says to have skinny latte. Oh, what does skinny latte mean? What makes it skinny? Dad, what's this skinny? The milk. Okay. We're gonna make ourselves a skinny latte, but obviously. <laughs> what are you laughing for? No, it's gonna be funny. Well, I'm gonna add caramel, but this is- like I know, but it's a skinny syrup, so adds to the skinniness, right? <laughs> Also, I do, I am aware I look like I'm going on a DOV trek with this jumper on, but it's very warm, so. As well as my skinny latte, which I have prepared here. <laughs> oh, hello, boys. I, whenever I do these things, people are like, you know you don't have to have the coffee, but if I didn't have the coffee, that's like a whole element that I'm not having. Do you see what I mean? I'm also going to have 150 mils of orange juice. Now I won't lie, I haven't ever had a cup of orange juice. I just don't like drinks. I just don't really understand drinks. You know, I just like the good old H2O. Okay, 150. Oh, that's actually not that much at all. What about your sweets? Are you having sweets? Like snacks, like a cho two chocolate digestives. Ooh. Go wild. Go wild. Go, go wild, wild in the jungle. Go wild in the country. Snakes, snakes in the grass. Our wholemeal toast with peanut butter. Now, the thing is, everyone's gonna have a different amount of peanut butter that they put on, different wholemeal bread, but I get the gist of it. And then we've got our 150 mils of orange juice and skinny latte, whatever that means. I also do have some water because you've got to stay hydrated, you know. This would be a normal lunch for me anyway, so, I mean breakfast. <laughs> Try not be a drama queen about this coffee. I'm not in the mood for orange juice. It's so, it really kills the vibe. It's like, all you taste is orange. You know what I mean? Dang it, one. It's really potent stuff. Babes, it's literally just orange juice. Chill out. This is why I can't do alcohol. I can't even have a flipping glass of orange juice. I think that's why I don't like drinks. Because it's like a condensed flavour. Yeah, it is. It's like, that is your, your drink. And I get a bit bored of flavours. It's so tart. Oh my gosh, I just have a sensitive mouth. I've just consumed everything and I'm so full. I think it's all that liquid. I literally just feel like I'm about to pop. And for lunch, they have said a whole wheat pasta chicken salad. So I have just assembled all the bits. I'm cooking the pasta now. I've made like a vinaigrette and we're gonna have that for lunch. But the thing is, chicken pasta salad is a very open term. So it could literally mean anything, couldn't it? It is. We put like this vinaigrette on. It's got chicken, olives, pepper, apple, onions, tomato. Had our pasta salad and it was delicious. 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 Um, and guess what pudding is? Four little apricots sitting in a row. Four apricots. Better than nothing. Not it's half past three. And I'm tending to my afternoon snack. Smoothie, skim milk, low fat fruit. Yogurt and frozen berries. But if I'm honest, I'm ravenous. I don't think this is gonna cut it, but cheers. For tea tonight, we've got pork loin and stir fry with pak choy. Oh yeah, baby. So we've had our stir fry, and now I'm gonna have 
two biscuits basically we're supposed to have two dark chocolate digestives and the saddest thing is Tesco's have discontinued my absolute favorite biscuits don't know why this always happens to me but they've discontinued their very own dark chocolate digestives i am heartbroken and i will be sending an email petition to get them back in my life i've already had too many things that i like stop being sold so i just mean i have a unique taste palette because clearly they're not funding get out google it i'm trying to save up every bite knowing that once i finish these this is it for the night so this morning's brekkie is a is an old favorite actually i won't lie it's not one of my favorites i feel like it's everyone else's favorite and um, it's brown flakes and banana i feel like i might actually enjoy this and also a cup of tea but like this is such like a classic british breakfast i don't know if anyone else is getting that vibe we have our whole wheat flakes and banana and semi skim milk and tea i know i am really bad at making tea it looks like swamp water donkey let's try this bran flake business do you like a bran flake mum i like bran flakes with things in like banana chips and raisins you like fruit and fiber then i like fruit and fiber actually but well, technically that's fruit and fiber that you have there mm, that's true banana, banana. Fiber, quite a good solid breakfast except for if there was no banana in that bran flakes no way in heck am i eating that that just literally tastes like cat food but when you add the banana it adds a certain je ne sais quoi okay for lunch we have got a wholemeal roll with cheese and chutney and salad on the side let's devour this <laughs> i actually like this it's just a, again a very classic old school lunch that actually really really hit the spot i'm actually full up much different from yesterday so for tea tonight we've got baby new potatoes that i just roasted not in any oil and um, we've got the kale and the broccoli and then we've got the salmon with like a soy situation and some sesame. i did jazz it up with the sesame seeds and spring onion but i'm supposed to be having a glass of 135 mils of red wine i can force oh, myself to have I coffee have you can have it go for it i can force myself to have coffee but i can't physically force myself to have red wine i just hate wine i really don't like it so i won't be having that but i i did add a soy glaze on the salmon so i feel like it's counteracted just that like evened out right frankly that was delicious i've actually not been hungry today at all which um is very different story from yesterday i feel like my breakfast really filled me up but i could do with a little sweet treat but just a handful of nuts guys don't go too wild you know what i'm saying say see saying a handful of nuts and seeds is like I have massive hands, but it's benefiting me for today because then I get to have a big old handful. Mixed unsalted nuts meet my hand. <laughs> We're living on a wild side tonight, boys. Is that really a handful? I don't know because I don't know how much. And that probably is a handful, but I could get you a bigger handful. Yeah, I know. I could. You could fit. I could fit the whole pack in my hand. Just to be honest. <laughs> So for breakfast this morning, it was baked beans and one piece of wholemeal toast. I also had to have another skinny latte, but no orange juice today. Try not being a drama queen. But I just can't do the coffee life. It's not for me, kids. Not gonna lie. Anyway, this was quite a nice little chunky little brekkie. Okay, so one thing, I've just had brekkie. And I would say there is a lot of fibre happening because my bowels have been popping. Uh, a lot of fibre in this diet. I will just be transparent and honest. I'm about to have this ginger shot because someone told me that ginger is really good for hay fever. So I know this isn't part of the meal plan, but I had hay fever, do you know what I mean? So I'm trying anything to get rid of hay fever. Again, breakfast really tidied me over. Um, which is weird because normally i'd have two pieces of toast and also the lunch today i'm just preparing it i feel like it's bigger than my normal lunch i don't know like, it's a sandwich and soup normally i'd have like a piece of bread but i wouldn't have a whole sandwich um so it's it's just it's i feel like it's getting to be quite good and the start I was like this is so grim there's nothing to eat but now i'm like there's actually a lot okay so here is lunch it doesn't look like it's a bowl but i swear it is it just looks like i've put some liquid on a plate and then my ham salad uh, cream situation. It's a whole sandwich and soup. Oh gosh. Completely different from the other days. And I get a packet of crisps today. So 
So lunch was very good and filling and warm, so it just felt a bit more satisfying. Did you have your crisps? No, I'm saving those. Oh. Mm hmm. Oh. I'm gonna say, well, it's not for lunch. For lunch is pudding, it's two tangerines. Two? Not one. Yeah, it's so different from any other days. Wow. It's like they're slowly cranking up the snacks as the days go on. They don't really I am, bored. Yeah, I'm here for it, to be honest with you. Two tangerines. <laughs> Let's go. Gonna enjoy. That was a good solid lunch. Very happy, very f normally full, like normal. And you've got your crisps left to have, so. Well, they're, they're the evening snack. So for tea tonight, it was brown rice and a veggie chilli. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I was so impressed with my cooking, this veggie chilli was so delicious. I've had my veggie being chilli, and actually, mm, I never thought Dad would even say yes to a veggie being chilli, but you've approved that. Mm, would you yeah. have it again? Yeah. But not over a meat run, obviously. Obviously. But you liked it, wow. Yeah, it was quite good, actually. I've had my crisps um, with tea, they were right here. For dessert, we've got some yogurt and berries and sunflower seeds. I'm not really a yogurt girl, if, unless it's got like chocolate and granola in, but I'm not no. sure about the pumpkin seeds in there, TBH. I do look like an egg today, but it's fine. We go over it. Um, so today I have already had brekkie, but I feel like you kind of know the gist of the breakfasts now. And I basically, the fiber. I don't want to go into too much detail, but you know the connotations of having a lot of fiber. I would say they are correct. I, I'm definitely seeing the repercussions of having bean chili, etc., etc. But I have been really full up. I'm really happy. I feel like I have been having enough food, um, which was one of my main concerns. Normally with these sorts of things, I'm like, I'm hungry. But actually for this, I feel like it's a really decent amount. The one thing is obviously for me, normally I do have quite a lot in the evenings, but it has, it's been enough like for me to not feel hungry. So I'm gonna make my scones now for my evening snack tonight. So we've got a hummus, pepper, rocket wrap, wholemeal wrap for lunch today. That was delish, but I could have done with two. I feel like if it's a wrap, it's two. Here we have our little scone I made. I am so excited for this. I probably There's should. fruit in it as well. Yeah. For once. Oh, okay, Dad. I did not realise that my plain scones with no fruit in were upsetting you so much. You could have just said. I probably should have <coughs> saved this for after tea, but I just can't wait. I made them a bit ago. Scone is better warm. Everyone knows that. Fresh, I mean. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. That's it in the spot. Whenever I do this shot, it reminds me of the first time that I did my trying subscribers recipes. And I won't lie, they're one of my absolute no, actually, I think they are my no, I think it's my absolute favourite video. A, I've ever filmed. I did two of them. And B, I just love making them. I just find them so. Maybe I should do another one of those. Whoa, nearly starts my fingers out. I just find them really. I don't know. I just really enjoy it. It means I can learn about you because you know so much about me. Sometimes I feel a bit guilty because I'm like, I don't know anything about you guys. Well, I kind of do because you tell me in the comments. But still, it's not like. When I get to learn about your food and everything, it's just so fun. Right now I am making dinner and on today's meal of the day, it is fish pie. I have never in my life cooked fish pie. And again, it's weird because you can make fish pie in many a different way. You could have so much cream and stuff in it or, you know, not. I'm very vague here. I feel like they should provide recipes. If I've got to make myself a fish pie. I'm so excited. I haven't had fish pie in years. And Nanny Booth, if you're watching, her fish pie is legendary. Room for improvement, but it definitely looks good. Splendid. For dessert, because I already have my scone. Yogurt and cinnamon. Don't really know what the cinnamon's there for. It's not a yogurt family, are we? They're adding cinnamon, but we'll, we'll give it a go. Hi, it's the evening now, and I'm about to have my snack time. So, about to have some Brazil nuts. And did you know that if you have three Brazil nuts, that's your daily amount of selenium? Fun fact for you, if you're one of my friends or family, you'll know, because I literally tell everyone this. It's like what I tell everyone about tin foil. Also, this fab is really not doing well for my tum tum. She's not a happy bunny, but, I'm full, so. Sorry, also weird how it's so specific about the nut quantity being seven, yet the other day it was a whole handful. 
And I just thought, they're so specific about drinks being 150 milliliters and breakfast being like an exact portion. But all the other meals in the day, they're not. I don't understand it. It's the last day and I'm measuring out 150 grams of my orange juice. And we're getting the scrambled egg, grilled tomatoes, caramel toast on the go. It's quite a, a big, wholesome bread. Not big, but like a wholesome, hearty brekkie, I feel like. Mm. Yeah, it's a good size. Mm. That is true, they do go in on the brekkies. Apart from when it's like two weed sticks and a banana. Brekkie done, now I have to drink this orange juice. I just think there's nothing worse than drinking. This is why I love hot water in the morning, because it's not offensive. But like, who wants tart, citricky? So, cheers again. It's just so... So, so I'm just preparing my last day's lunch and I think this is one of the few challenges that I've actually struggled with the least. It is very like, I feel like it's enough portion, it's good, um, it's nice food. I really haven't struggled at all. The one thing I would say is, as I already said, they don't give portion sizes or anything so it's like, well yeah, you can have a pizza for lunch but pizza, that's very vast. If you go to Pizza Express and ask for a pizza, even there they'll ask you, do you want the thin large one or do you want the small classic? Do you know what I mean? They, even Pizza Express asks you which one you want because there are so many different types of pizza. I will say though, it is a shame that I can't have mayo. I always dip my pizza in mayo. So it's fine though, we'll just... <laughs> Splendid. What a great Friday afternoon. Little snick snack paddy whack. And now I'm gonna get something I prepared earlier. For dessert, we have a fruit salad, which is right here. I've got some apricot, orange, and apple. It's not much of a fruit salad because we didn't have much fruit left, but trying to use up all the bits we do have, so. The last tea. We've got the last tea here, whole wheat um, pasta and spaghetti. Yeah, I think so. For pudding, I'm having this flapjack. Again, it said wine, but obviously don't like wine. So I'm just gonna have this flapjack. Hello everyone, it's time for a debrief with Grac. So I actually really enjoyed this food challenge and found it was probably the easiest one I've ever done. I wouldn't even call it a challenge. One main thing I took away from it was I think it was great because it can show that you can have everything in moderation. Like it had a little bit of cake, it had a little bit of this and it didn't really restrict anything. You kind of had everything. And I think it's really, I think it was a really good balanced diet in my opinion. Obviously, as I always say in these videos, I am just doing this for fun. I'm not saying you should eat like this. I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm literally just doing this because I find it intriguing. And as I always say, everybody is different and needs different foods. I actually felt very satisfied doing this, which I'm quite surprised with because when you look at it, it doesn't technically, for me, look like enough food because I normally eat quite a lot because I'm a tall gal and I need lots of food to keep me going. Um, but it was actually enough. I think it's really good because I went in quite close-minded, I think. I went in thinking this is gonna be so hard, I can't eat, there's not much to eat, but actually it was very good. Also, one thing that's interesting is a lot of the food was low fat. Now, I am completely, personally, against low fat options because normally they try and amp it up with other things and then it ends up not being as healthy. So I don't really know the details of why they tried doing low fat there, but I felt fine doing it. And as I said, the main takeaway is my bowels were popping off with all of that fiber. Honestly, I don't think I've had that much fiber in a long time. And I felt like I almost had been like cleaned from the inside out with how much fiber there was but it's good i guess is that how much vibe we actually need in a day because that was a lot but i hope you enjoyed this video please 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 let me know other videos you want to see down below i love reading your comments honestly i really like every single comment so comment down below what videos you want to see it doesn't even have to be food it can be something completely different it can be a challenge it can be whatever tickles your fancy thanks so much for watching love you all life peace out